Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Kick back and relax and let's take a look at the garden. Well, nobody really likes to have problems, that's for sure. But sometimes when it comes to gardening, you know, problems, I'm not going to say they're welcomed, but you just got to deal with them. So my problem right now is this annoying cucumber plant wants to keep growing. I've done everything I can now at this point to put this light as high as I can. Um, it's attached to a bunch of wires that hold it and like I just like I it was very difficult to get this to go higher than it's supposed to so at some point I realized if I keep on spinning it it'll like go much higher like you know five or six inches higher um, so that's what I did right now and I, there was actually an additional hook that was supposed to be uh, between this here hook and the other hook and what's going on I actually took that down just to get even more distance so now this is only I would say about eight inches or maybe ten inches away from the ceiling um, and it does have a fan on it and stuff so this is really not going any higher um, at this point you know it's not even the end of March yet realistically I'm not going to be able to take this stuff outside until the middle of May because it's just too cold and like the weather fluctuates too much in New York to do that so this is this is going to get much bigger and then these other ones are trailing behind so I, I, don't, I really don't know what I'm going to do because they're not really that flexible and you don't really want to make these things do too much of not what they don't want to do because um, I don't want to snap them so I don't know what to do so we're going we're gonna to keep an eye on this so along the way you know we've got a bunch of flowers on here guys which is really cool they're all male flowers I've done the research now on how to self pollinate these um, and basically there's a male and a female and I looked at it and a couple days back maybe a week ago I noticed that I had my first female um, and I did everything I could you take the male flower you take it apart and you kind of self pollinate it you stick it in there and there's you know the female has a little hole and the, the male has a little bump so figure it out but basically uh, you, you could go about just doing it that way manually um, you can also go about using a um like a, a paintbrush for like the children's like water paints which i don't have one of those but you can also use a q-tip which i did use so i really pollinated the heck out of this baby um and it just didn't go but i just think it's the first one out of all these plants so just like with tomato plants sometimes you know the first flowers don't go i notice i have another little one here so i'm pretty confident in the technique of uh of pollinating so it's just a matter of me, you know, continuing to do it. And, and I'm going to have a lot of opportunities because there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Um, okay, so I just had to raise this light today because of these tomato plants. They're really growing. Um, this one right here has got like the stem on this thing is like huge already. Um, they're really growing well. So we've got a lot of plants to bring outside as far as the tomatoes and the cucumbers were looking really good. I'm actually going to plant some more cucumbers, like a bunch of baby plants right before, I, um, you know, maybe maybe I'll do that like sometime in April and bring a bunch of baby plants out too. So I want to have a lot of cucumbers. I'm going to grow a lot of lettuce. I want to have a lot of tomatoes. But, um, but all the tomato plants are doing really well. And I moved this all this stuff into a different room because everything was just growing too much and it was getting out of control. And like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't deal with all of it in such a small space. The sunflower seeds, some of them are going. Some of them didn't make it. Um, I really just think, I mean, they're sunflower seeds, but I just think they need a lot of sun. So I don't know what's going to turn out with these. I kind of have to help them stand up. They're really flimsy. Um... But we'll see what happens, because um, I really want to have some sunflower seeds. Um, the pepper plants that I planted, a bunch of baby pepper plants, they're doing really well. And the older pepper plants that I've had here for like ever, just started to grow this week a little bit. Um, this was a straggler tomato plant that um, I decided to keep, put it in a little thing here, and boom. Okay, 
So basically, guys, that's what's going on here. If you look at the last video, you'll see that like everything has like doubled and tripled in size. Um, the plan is to take this all outside, and um, I know I'm not going to be able to do that till May, um, probably the middle of May, because um, not only do I have to like you know keep track of what the temperature is at nighttime, we really want the temperature to be like 40 degrees or so. We don't want to be playing around with the freezing point uh, when we bring these out. And then once we bring these out, there's also a time period um, as far as taking them outside and, and um, introducing them to the sun um, so that they don't get any severe shock, uh, which was the mistake that I made last year. So, so the plan would be to get these things outside, all this stuff outside somewhere in the shade, or if I even have to put up a tarp or something to make the shade, uh, give them a few days, introduce them to the sun a few hours at a time, and then eventually um, just like have them being out there on their own probably within a week or so. So, so that's what's going on, guys. Um, I told you guys I really wouldn't do updates for no reason, but if you look at the last video, there's definitely reason for update because um, this, cute, this one plant here is about, you know, it's in the container and all, but it's still over four feet tall. Um, and it is a real beauty. I mean, this, this sucker wants to grow. It probably wants to make a million cucumbers for me. So I just got to keep these things alive hopefully not have them peak too soon self-pollinating i'll be i'll be showing you guys as i go along like if i get one of these to self-pollinate and make a cucumber i will make an in-depth video on how to do it but at this point i'm not going to do that even though i feel like i've, I've like educated myself enough to show you guys what has to be done i really don't want to even show you guys anything until i actually make one of these into a cucumber which i'm less than 50% confident that I could do. I've never been able to pollinate anything inside. I haven't tried that hard, haven't studied on it, but it's definitely not something that happens by itself. So it's something that I'm going to really have to work on. But um, guys, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. We're in spring now. Um, if you want to get some seeds started to go outside, if you want to bring out some bigger plants, definitely start planting them now. If you, if you don't have a lot of space and you don't want things really growing you know, that big, you just want to bring some stuff out and have a head start or know if your seeds are good or not I, I wouldn't even do that until sometime in April maybe even the middle of April so you got plenty of time to get everything you need thanks for watching guys I hope everybody has a great day